Welcome back to In The Zone. Coming into the season, Vincent's Lincoln wanted to prove to people that they were back. So far, the 3 0 Owls have done that, but tonight was their best chance yet to show everyone as they took on their evil rivals, Jasper 3A. Number 20, Vincent's Lincoln traveled to Jasper. The Wildcats got to a rough start. That's never a bad thing. Second snap of the game is off the mark. Benny Williams recovers it for Vincent's Lincoln inside the 10 yard line. Then on the Owls, his first play of the drive, Gabe Corona crosses the, he loses the ball as he crosses the goal line. Lincoln recovers in the end zone. Then sends up 7-0. Later on in the quarter, though, Jasper answers. Ryan Ewen touchdown from two yards out. This game lived up to the hype tonight, but the wrong guys come out on top. Yes, Jasper wins a thriller 45-42 in overtime. I heard Jasper storm the field after this win. Kind of surprising for a school like that to do that. Don't worry. Still proud of the guys in green down there in Vincennes. Over in Illinois, a few have started the season better than Newton in the, the Class 3A fourth ranked Eagles have won their first three games of the season by a total of 140 to 12. The mighty Newton Eagles hosting Red Hill in a conference showdown tonight. First play of the game, opening kickoff, Red Hills Drew Moore fields a kick, gets some help from his blockers and he sees some light. Moore cuts back to the middle of the field, and it's a foot race. I like Will he unis. make it? Yeah, those are nice. He does go. goes all the way. Totally off topic, though. <laughs> the, all hey, the if way you can to the hammer, house. I can go off topic. That's fair. Saluki's start with the 7-0 lead. Newton football now. Tim Weber, he's one down the sideline, hauled in by Joe Stone, and that's an eagle first down. Later on in the drive, Mitch Bierman gets the ball now, and he's around the outside. He does a little hop into the end zone. Newton takes over this game from there. Over 200 yards rushing for him tonight. Yeah, Four another just amazing Jeez. stat line tonight. The Eagles remain undefeated. They win 49 to 14. Time now for the Sports 10 Spirit Award, which is sponsored by Harold Beauty Academy. Neon Knight for Terre Haute North. I like that there. Yeah, yeah, you won't miss that student <laughs> session. And USA Night for South Vermillion. I tell you what, the guys in Clinton this year, the crowd, they've been pretty impressive so far. Up next is the Sports 10 Smashes of the Night. North Vermillion's Caleb Stevens. Hello. Ooh. It's a slobber knocker. <laughs> Just took him straight down. No. Straight down. And you saw Caden Fields do this. Whoa! Just levels him right there. I would not want to tackle that guy. No, no. I would get out of the way. He started running towards me, and I backed up. <laughs> I was nervous. I'm shocked, Casey. You this away. <laughs> Play of the week goes to Terre Haute North's Evan Funkhauser when he completely obliterates the Bloomington North QB, causing a fumble. Funkhauser also had a pick six. Again, seeing this hit makes me cringe. Mm. Ouch! This had to hurt right here. There it is. Slamming them to the ground. That's why I didn't play football. I like to watch the hits. I don't like to get that's hit. That's why. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> well, no talent either. <laughs> MC Hammer boy. Time now for the top five fantasy stars of the night. Sponsored this year by WallbashValleySports.com. Now, I can tell you, Casey and I had some serious debating on this side. Did we not? We had fits. I mean, we were going back. Like, we had our photographers like, discussing it with. This is the first week like, we had serious debate on the fantasy there stars. There were. There are three or four guys that got left off. I don't even feel great about this list because of the talent <laughs> that didn't make it. I, I understand. Let's start with who did. Solomon QB, Trey Powell, 351 passing yards, seven touchdowns, which, by the way, is a new school single game record. We talked about was Vigo running back Jarrett McAllister. Three carries, three touchdowns, 200 yards. It's just a crazy, crazy You'll never stat have a stat line. line like that again. Enjoy it, Jared. Terre Haute North quarterback Nick Barrett, 219 total yards, six passing touchdowns. He ties Warren Cook back in 1986 for the most passing touchdowns in a game. Congratulations and welcome back, Nick Barrett. Rockville QB Colton Rosnett, you've seen this guy before, mm -hmm. over 400 total yards and four touchdowns. Yeah, just another, another great performance. It's, <laughs> it's hard to overstate how much talent there was this week. Caden Phil's top five in the state in rushing and certainly didn't hurt his chances tonight. Yeah, no, we just see him running over everybody. Four touchdowns, 298 yards. I tell you what, we had some serious debate on the fantasy stars. Congratulations to the five that made it. That does it for In the Zone. Have a great weekend.